Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome to Zone of the Enders. Uh, this is a 2001 third-person mech action game uh, produced by the one, the only, Kojima Hideo, and uh, with art direction by Shinkawa Yoji, directed by Okamura Noriaki. Uh, this is a weird, cool, bizarre PS1 game that um, I feel like a lot of people haven't played and don't know a lot about. Um, so th this was kind of the very start of the PS2 era. Um, it's, it's a very anime-influenced game. Uh, really hot on the heels of like trying to play with technology. It has a very unique look and a very interesting sound. Um, and I, I, it's always stuck out to me as just a really, really unique experience. Um, however, uh, these games are weird and they're not perfect. Um, and to add to that, they're not the whole property either. So Zone of the Enders um, obviously launched with a PS1 game, but it also got two anime uh, adaptations. It got a OVA called Idolo, um, which is a prequel to this game by about five years, and then a simultaneous prequel slash concurrent side story anime called Dolores Eye which I watched 12 episodes of today because uh, it takes place, the first 12 episodes take place before this uh, game. And boy, let me tell you, it ain't good. It's really bad, actually. Um, so that's weird and unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, anyway, uh, without further ado, why don't we start some Zone of the Enders? I'm really excited to revisit this. Um, so all right so let's uh i feel like i should play on hard uh because i remember normal being very easy so we can probably do that oh i'm so excited we are playing with Japanese voices. We're playing an undub version, so this will be fun. She's part of the Idolo OVA. It, it details some of her backstory, which is cool. She's a cool character. I'll do my best to chime in about lore where it's relevant. The last time I played this game might have been 2005, so it's been a long time. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the substance, Fair. Oh, 
人で逃げるか俺をぶん殴ってこいつらを助けるか Boy of e n d e r s こいつらさえいなければもういじめられなくて済むもんな。War is bad. He even looks like a Gundam protagonist. Oh, God, the music in this game bangs so hard. <laughs> Starting off with like brutal kid murder is, is not how I remembered this game opening. <laughs> This is very Gundam. Hey, Lurker, thanks for the resub. Nice to see you. <laughs> the pool of blood. That's hella Tomino. <laughs> What's it called? The, the, the knife. I love her max so much. The cockpits, they're so cool. They're like techno AT field cockpit. It's so sick. Sage says, I would love、uh, vinyl pressing of this game soundtrack. You're telling me, dude. I would, I would kill for that. Oh, Ada sounds weird in Japanese. Jehuti, such a cool mech. I forgot that the attacks are all on a single button in this game. ただ私はこの機体の戦闘コンピューターエイダです。あなたは予定されていたフレームランナーとは違いますね。僕はただ逃げてきただけで。核の子外部に複数のターゲットを確認。ここからでは数を確認できません。外部に移動してください。そんな
頼む了解しましたオーケー I probably don't need to go through this. We'll, we'll do the tutorial, I guess, but it's not super necessary. The fact that I need to manually do this makes me not want to do it. Alright, dash. I already know how this works. Normal attack. Alright, this is the thing I need to Dash attack. How do I do this? That's it? Oh, okay. Don't need to, oop, don't need to do that. Burst attack. What is a burst attack? What is a burst? Okay, that's what it is. Okay, that's good. Guard, how do I do this? Okay, that's fine. R1, don't need to worry. Grab. Nope. I keep pressing uh, X. この外部に移動するのは危険です。その前に前方のアイテムボックス内のメタトロン鉱石を取得しましょう。メタトロン。ジフティの構成要素です。機体の自動修復に必要な素材です。外部に移動する前に、まずメタトロン鉱石を取得
So this game has an interesting system where if you uh, blow up too much of the surroundings, that's bad for morale. <laughs> It is kind of cool that there was like environmental destruction and the system built around it. Oh god, I love Iowa State. This game is so good at looking flashy. Because it's actually a relatively simple game, all things considered, but... ボーヤ。ボーヤ。<笑> メンタルコンディションレベルね、そこの君、状況は一応モニターで確認させてもらったわ。あなたが単なる民間の子供だってことも知ってる。これ全部あなたがやったのね。だって仕方ないじゃないか。怖かったんだ。仕方ないじゃないか。別に責めてるんじ
とにかく僕はもう関係ないから人殺しでも何でもあんたたちで勝手にやってくれよそれじゃあ僕はこれでもっと人がたくさん死ぬわえみんな死んじゃうのよあなたの友達も家族もみんな死んじゃうのよ彼らの手にジェフティを絶対に渡してはならないその時がこの頃にのい,いえ私たち人類の本当の終わりだからお願い手伝って助けてレオ早くしろレオそんなこと言ったって僕にはできないよ言ったでしょさっきの活躍を見ていたのあなたにはできるのあなたにはそれができるのよ This game's so cinematic. I can't do it. Yes, that's it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Thank you. But... I'll tell you, but... I'll do it. I don't do it for you. 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 I understand. Well, I'll do it. その機体の搬入担当者がそちらに向かっているの今は連絡が取れないんだけどつながったら知らせるわああそれからあなた名前はレオよろしくねレオ私はアトランティス号副長のエレナ・ワインバーグエレナでいいわ本当に信用できるんだろうね少なくとも私たちは無差別に人を殺したりはしないあなたが思っているようにはねそれじゃあまた後でね。She's got a real cheery for manipulating a child. それでは今後のミッションプランについて説明します。今回のミッションの目的は、ジェフティの火星での作戦行動のために、該当機体を火星まで移送することです。そのためにまず、民間輸送船アトランティス号に合流し、コロニーアンティリアから脱出することが当面の目標となります。しかしながら、ジェフティは現在、システムの再インストール直後のため、行動に必要な最小限のシステムプログラムしか持ち合わせていませんジェフティの能力を決めるのはこれから内蔵していく機能モジュールの数によりますまずはこのエリアのローカルサーバーから必要な機能モジュールをトランスプランテーションしますローカルサーバーの位置をマーカーで示しますマーカーの指し示す方向に向かってください So, one of the interesting things about this game is that it sets you off here with Elena But if you paid attention to any of the,、uh, I guess, related media, you will know that the United Nations are not very good、uh, in, this, in this universe. They are, they are explicitly extraordinarily prejudiced towards enders, towards, towards space colonists.、Um, and that's sort of the main, the main thrust of a lot of the conflict in this game. Ah, sneeze. Uh, that's the main conflict to this main setting is th this idea that, like, the spacers are fighting for independence and、uh, the UNSF is not happy about that. Do I need lock on explains to me? L2, okay. I will realistically never use that. But that's fine. I really like the inside of the cockpit look. And that's something that comes back again in. Oh, okay. We have, the, we have the map now. Very nice.、Uh, 
the the cockpit view is kind of interesting because it it comes up again in the second game uh, obviously but not just as a cool design element uh, because the second game has a VR uh, port uh, for the PC port which is really cool and it's a really cool VR mode and we will probably get around to playing that version at some point I need to uh, oh, there's no uh, camera sensitivity which is annoying Yay, we got some Metatron. Where is the other thingy? It's up there. Okay, cool. Take out the rest of the squads. And now we got you. Let's fight. Hey Haley, welcome. Thanks for uh thanks for the well wishes. So I believe the, the color of their their level on the monitor is their health care. Oh no. Alrighty, hey. プログラムを取得しました。Uh, and so I believe that this game takes place not near Mars, but near Jupiter, I want to say, but I don't remember. The mech gets a hard on and then it can fly. S02Blockです。Orbital S02って僕のうちのあるとこじゃないか。S02居住ブロックに入ります。大丈夫だよ。He's got a dad. あり<笑><笑> that she's like chill out dude それは。だって。それは言ってみなくちゃわからないわ。他人のことなんてほっとけよ。自分が死んだら何もならないだろう。私はまだ死んでいないわ。
ブラボーのランナーかその機体は子供のおもちゃじゃない早く降りろ俺は子供じゃないその返事が子供の証拠だ何を<笑>子供の相手は女で十分だと思っていたんだがな仕方ない相手をしてやろう It's a cool map. 戦闘による周辺への被害増大中。I do not remember the gimmick of this. Yeah, oh, I can't fight it, obviously. I'm just gonna die. Oops. Silly me. Did I really think I could defeat Tempest? Let's see, can I? Is it possible? Probably not. Oh, oops, I went to factory again. God damn it. Is that another program? Yeah, there's nothing I can pick up over here. Okay, well, that's good to know. I don't know why it said there was. That was weird. Alright, let's head back to Tempest. Now, I don't know if it is possible to fight Tempest and actually beat them. My guess is no. Let's redo the cutscene. その機体は子供のおもちゃじゃない。早く降りろ。俺は子供じゃない。その返事が子供の証拠だ。何を<笑>子供の相手は女で十分だと思っていたんだがな。は仕方ない。相手をしてやろう。His weird ass face. I need to remember to keep away from him. So this is going to be mostly a ranged fight then. Quick words though, especially for a PS2 game, not bad.
Getting spicy. Getting spicy, Tempest. It's so good. That did good damage. I could maybe trade that a few times just to get there. All right, we should have it the next time. I, I, I am sure we'll get, it. we'll get it. I can fix that. So far. Ah, it still didn't give me anything. God damn it. Ah, 
Nothing. Over here, I should be safe. Yep. Alright. It's what it is. Give me a second. I'll adjust my volume again as well. I wish this game had a better volume mixer. Okay, uh, let's see. Immediately start with that. My big issue right now is that with, with like my depth perception feels off because I can't tell where the fire actually is. There we go. All right, let's fuck him up. Oh no, that was a mistake. Oh yeah, I forgot that I can uh, dash upwards and downwards too. That made that better. A lot easier. All right, now we wait. Oh boy, almost got here. Right, let's do this. Wait for him to pop his ugly little head up and then pow. All right, we figured out the trick. I love Jehudi's color scheme. It's just a really cool looking mech. Yoji Shinkawa's mech work is always like just so cool. Oh yeah, we're blowing him up this time. I'm smart, I'm smart. I got it. Spirit bomb. Sage says I need to get the Jehidi model kit that apparently dropped recently ish. Uh, I think it did. I think there was a redo or something, or like a 20th anniversary version or something that came out. I did read about that. Oh no, I dropped my spirit bomb. That's a bummer. Haley says audio balance is better now. Good, good, I'm glad. Here we go. Hey, we did it. ターゲット内部に動体反応搭乗者がまだ生きているものと思われます。ロックオンカーソルを復帰します。ターゲットを破壊してください。破壊って… 
もう動かない敵じゃないか質問の意図不明破壊はしないのですか当たり前だろなんで意味のないのに人殺しをしなくちゃならないんだよご希望であれば17の異なる明瞭な理由を述べられますが典型的なものではまず第一に搭乗者が再び別の機体で現れる確率がもういいよとにかく破壊はしない攻撃する意思のないやつを撃ってどうするんだよ理由をお答えしましょうか結構だ先ほどから報告しようと考えていたことですがあなたの今までの行動は非常に非合理的です実力の伴わない非合理的な行動はミッションの遂行に著しい障害となります下手くそは言うこと聞けっておおむねそういうことです言ってくれるターゲット最適範囲限界2秒後に見失います人の言葉は喋ってもやっぱりお前コンピューターなんだなその通りですそれが何か別に後方に量産型オービタルフレーム数機を確認教会の近くですセルビス敵量産型強化タイプです注意してください This is such a banger looking church. Looks like a club from Vampire the Masquerade. You think she was at the Blood Rave? Such big anime eyes. I think he's voiced by Mona Marshall in English. I could be wrong about that, but it's that kind of voice. But I do not remember. I really need to stop destroying stuff in the environment. <laughs> right. Level 2 passcode is down there. Once something unknown is down there. Alright, let's blow this up. Stop destroying the colony! Just stop it! Why would you do that? I forgot how good throwing was. Look how much damage that did. Sage says, Leo's English VA is actually prepubescent Remy LaBeouf in CEO. Oh, I had no idea. I, I was, my, are you sure? My brain, my brain says that it's definitely Mona Marshall. Am I just remember, is this a Mandela effect thing? Is it just because Mo, like Leo is a very Mona Marshall coded character? I like that it puts their patrol route, just so that you can see. Uh, we're gonna fuck them up. I'm gonna mess them up real bad. No, don't, okay. There we go. Zodai Chu, 
Sage says it's a Mandela effect thing. I've been breathing this here since my birth. I know too much Zoe trivia. I think I think you're wrong and I'm right. I think it's definitely secretly been Mona Marshall this whole time. Or uh, who's the other one? Who's the other old lady? I, they shouldn't say old lady. Who's the other woman that always voiced young anime boys in the 90s? Bri Bri Brianne something, maybe? There we go. Javelin, yay. Yeah, Br Brianne Sidal. Brianne Sidal and Mona Marshall. Those are the two. The two women who voiced every single prepubescent boy in anime for like a million years. They both have English Romy Park voice. Yes, why are you having a boy transport a weapon of mass destruction to Mars? For the sweet release of death. Just been drafted. <laughs> 
分かってるよそんなこととりあえず聞いただけだ俺だって<笑> Where is the hospital? By the way, I'm definitely not gonna go there even though you just told me Even though you just told me that going there would be a problem for the mission. Just trust me, I'm not gonna go there. It's not gonna happen. It's, I'm not going there right now. 